So oftentimes I'll be out here working in the yard and someone will be walking by and be like, hey, how do you get your yard looking like that? And I'm just like, malorganite. And then they look at me and they're like, malorganite, what the heck is malorganite? And I'm like, well, it's just this organic fertilizer that you can get at any one of those big box stores. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they go on their way or whatever. But of course, there's way more that I'm doing to this grass than just malorganite. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to explain to you what else I'm putting on this lawn to get it to look like this. Now with that organic fertilizer, I'm putting that down on all the major holidays on Memorial Day, July 4th and Labor Day. I'm putting down about a half a pound of nitrogen per 1000 square feet. Now, if you're wondering how to calculate how much nitrogen is in a container of fertilizer, I got a video linked above that explains how to do that. Now, aside from organic fertilizer, I'm also doing Scott's synthetic fertilizer. I'm doing the Scott's Turf Builder in September and October. And I'm putting that down every two weeks at a rate of one half pound of nitrogen per thousand. Throughout the growing season, I'm doing this 1648. I put this down every two weeks at a rate of a tenth of a pound per 1,000. And that seems to keep everything in check and growing nicely and green. Of course, one of the biggest challenges here in the Midwest with the heat and the humidity during the summertime is managing disease. And I do that using this WDG Azoxy 50. It's just a Zoxy strobin and you can put it in your backpack sprayer. Go out there and put that down. I'm doing this every 14 days and this seems to keep disease at bay. Now I'm also using this propiconazole. This is another fungicide and I rotate this in just to help with disease resistance. So really what I'm doing is alternating these two fungicides every couple of weeks and that seems to keep everything in check. Now with the perennial ryegrass in the backyard, I gotta use this Subdue Max. This helps take care of that Pythium blight. Pythium seems to really affect that perennial ryegrass. And this stuff is really expensive, but it does keep everything at bay. Since I started using this, I haven't had any Pythium in the past couple of seasons. Highly recommend this Subdue Max. When it comes to managing weeds, I use this tenacity at seeding time. Helps with keeping crabgrass and other broadleaf weeds out of your lawn as you're trying to seed. But if I do have issues during the growing season, I like to use this Trimec with crabgrass preventer. It's got this quinclorac in here that'll take care of the crabgrass. It also takes care of other broadleaf weeds such as dandelions and clover and even creeping charlie. Now right now we're in fall and my lawn is really taken off. So what I gotta use is this T-Nex plant growth regulator. This is really important for me in the fall time as we're really busy with harvest and work and kids. So since I can't mow every day, I gotta use the plant growth regulator to keep things in check. Otherwise the lawn will get a little out of control. So that helps just manage the frequency of mowing. Now, a couple times a year, I'll put down some micronutrients. Really depends on what the soil test looks like. If I'm low in a certain micronutrient, I'll go and put this out there. But you don't have to hammer it with the micronutrients. Just a couple of times a year should take care of anything that your plant needs to grow its best. Now, one of my favorite products is this RM43. This will just kill anything and everything, and then it won't grow back for a year. So if you have areas like along your fence line or some crack in your driveway or something where you're getting weeds, this RM43 will take care of it and you won't see anything grow in there for at least a year. Now, if you're gonna be restarting your lawn, I got this Compare and Save Glyphosate. This stuff will smoke your lawn in one application. Don't use this very often, but it's good to have around if you're looking to go and do a lawn renovation. Now, if I'm gonna be having people over and I'm having a party or something, I like to get out the liquid iron, give the grass a quick hit of this. Gives it just a shade darker green. And uh, I don't use it very often. It doesn't last very long, but for those special occasions, I'll get this out. 
So that's it. I know some of you have been asking, hey, what's on your wall in the basement there? Well, that's what I got. So if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.